Hi guys, today I have my intro to my 9 by New Year's Eve project pan and I've been watching all of the seasonal project pans that are going around right now. There's a uh, cross six off of the Christmas list, there's a 12 roulette. Um, I know there's another 9 by New Year's Eve project but I think you have to pick specific products or something like that. And then there's uh, the burning through something, oh I can't remember the name of it but burning is like burr, like you're cold which is super cute. But I went ahead and picked this one up because I just found that this one was better suited for me. And um, what else did I want to say? Uh, oh, I will link, actually, I will link all of those videos down below. The ones, the ladies that I follow and if for some reason you guys want to follow uh, along with other seasonal project pans that are going around, uh, I will link them down below so you can follow their progress as well because I think it's a ton of fun. And uh, oh, before I jump into the products, I do want to mention because a couple of you guys asked for a uh, makeup video or makeup look on the look that I was wearing in my Pam That Palette video. I recorded it today, so you know, God willing, if everything turns out okay, I will have it uploaded by Monday. I have to upload this video today uh, because this project already started, and then I have a collab video coming up on Friday, and I have to upload it by Friday. Uh, I don't have to, but I want to, you know what I mean? So uh, that video will be up on Monday. So let me jump into these products right here. I am starting off with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in Chestnut. I actually have it on today. I outlined my lips today and then I put over top of that the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in... Dude, I've had this for like, I don't know, four months, maybe more. And I just saw the name of it. It's called Addiction because it's so tiny, I could not see it. You need a magnifying glass for that, my goodness. Okay, so this pencil right here, I picked this pencil because it has a lot more product in it than the previous pencils I've had in projects, so I thought I would challenge myself a little bit more this time around, so that's where I'm at with this one. And, um, oh, I already, I already swatched it, duh. It's right here. And then I have another lip product, and I struggle with reapplying lip products, so I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more. This is the Mega Slicks Balm. Bomb stain from Wet n Wild, and it's called Rico Moth. I love the color of this, but it's a little bit too drying. After a little while of wearing it, it dries out my lips. So I picked it because I've had it for a while. Number one, number two, I think this would be great to mix in with other lip products that I have in projects uh, because I love mauve um, lip products. So that's where I'm starting off with that one. And then this one I have swatched, let me put it on a little bit more, right there, which is so pretty. So that's that one right there. Then I have my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Dark Bisque. I'll have a close-up picture of this one in my first update, but you guys can see right there uh, where I'm at. I've used it quite a few times. There's a, just a tiny little bit of a dent, but not very much. But I'm putting it in this project because this is very creamy and it's perfect for winter. Um, and I've been neglecting it because I've been using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because it's in another project. So this one has been taking a back burner and I want to definitely use this. It is a cream product and it does go bad. So putting this one in, that, in this project. And then my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Uh, this one is in medium deep. It's such a great bronzer. I already have a little bit of pan showing, so my goal for this one is to completely finish it out. Same thing with this one, and same... Hold on. Same thing with the lip liners. I'm jumping ahead. And then same thing with the Bobbi Brown. And then I have a shadow right here, which is the shadow from Makeup Geek. This one is in Frappe. I've been neglecting a lot of my other shadows because I'm doing a Pan That Palette, so I don't always use all of my other shadows. So I thought I would pick this one out because it's pretty neutral. It can go with my Pan That Palette or on its own. I think it's beautiful, so I have it on my eyes today as well. So put this one in. Again, I'll have a close-up of that one. And I also have a Wet n Wild shadow, which is a brulee. And this one, I've already worn off a little bit of like the embossed uh, right here. It lo it's a little bit more smoother and it has a little bit of a dip. And I would like to finish this one out also. I have a, my Girlactic Face Glow in Bronze. I love this product. I've mentioned it so many times. This has a dip going on in it. So my goal for this one is not to finish it out because I'm not insane. I don't think I could ever finish it out, but 
I would like to hit pan on it and then once I hit pan on it that's my first goal my next my next goal would be to try to expand the pan as much as I can before the year ends this is the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder I'm starting off right there I was actually debating on putting the Laura Mercier translucent powder because I have used a little bit more of that one but that one dries me out too much and in the winter I mean it's just gonna suck the life right out of me and quite frankly I prefer this one I think it's a lot better I like brightening powders because it it just makes my under eyes look really really good so, so that's where I'm starting off with this one and then the last item I think that's the last item I don't know if this is cheating but I struggle with blushes so I'm putting in this blush right here which comes in my Becca Afterglow a palette this one is in wild honey and this has 0 0.056 ounces which I don't think is very much but again I struggle with blushes I don't I prefer bronzers and sometimes bronzers I even use them as blushes so I just tend to struggle with blushes man so I thought I would put in a smaller blush and see if I can have some luck with this one and my goal is to also finish this out uh, and that is everything for this project. Let me know if you guys are also doing this project. I would love to follow along with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one.